Hello guys, how you doing? In this session, which is the uh, fifth session of uh, prop, uh, tutorial for uh, chapter three, I'm gonna uh, solve you a question from uh, section 3.6.2, which is about confident flows. Uh, although uh, you might be thinking that uh, why I haven't solved a question from uh, section 3.5, uh, actually I decided to uh, have the whole of the instruction uh, both uh, in section uh, 3.5 as well as the section 3.6 in just one comprehensive question. The question number is, fr uh, is 3. Point eighty one uh, from section three point six of chapter three of the book uh, Monson sixth edition. The question is: Air flows steadily, steadily through a variable area pipe shown in figure uh, P three point eighty one. Determine the flow rate uh, if viscose and compressibility effects are negligible. Viscosity and compressibility are negligible. So, as you see in the question, we have a, a pipe having a monometer uh, along its side. Uh, as we are having steady uh, in, incompressible non-viscose, uh, 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 excuse me, inviscid uh, flow, we can have the Bernoulli equation applied. Between, uh, excuse me, between point one and point two, which is P1 over gamma air, because we're dealing with the air, plus uh, V1 to power two over two Gs, plus Z1 is equal to P2 over gamma air, plus V2 to power 2 over 2 Gs plus Z2. As you see in the figure, we're having the same elevation. So these two cancel out. And also we are considering a, a large pipe that is connected to the main pipe that we are studying about. So the V1 is also zero. So we can have the <coughs> uh, P, we can have it as this. Let me just uh, go to the uh, total and I'll uh, omit the extras out. This is the first equation that we are dealing with. As we are studying the confirm flow, we have to consider the continuity equation as well. So uh, the continuity uh, will be like this. Q1 is equal to Q2, which means a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2, which is equation number two. From the uh, from the uh, previous chapter, which, uh, in which we were studying about the monometer, you all you are uh, already aware that uh, we can have the Bernoulli equation between this point and this point, which is. P1 over gamma air uh, plus, uh, excuse me, this is, is I just considered a mistake, plus uh, uh, gamma air, yeah, I'm, I'm just uh, seeing my handouts, uh, gamma air H plus uh, gamma H2. H2O H1 is equal to uh, P2 plus gamma air H plus H1. 
this total here is H plus H1 with the gamma air. So, uh, <clears throat> as, a, as the uh, specific weight of water is really greater than the air, so we have it as this. It, a specific uh, weight of water is really greater than specific weight of air. So, uh, these two terms are going to be cancelled out. Let me just uh, have it as this. Mm, it's really tricky. Uh, P2 is equal to P1 plus gamma H2O plus H1, uh, multiplied by H1. If we divide them all by the gamma air, we are going to have it as this. This is the main point. So, P2 over gamma air is equal to P1 over gamma air plus gamma H2O over gamma air multiplied by H1. So, <clears throat> and uh, also, uh, uh, yeah, we can have it as this, and we can replace it in here. Uh, I excuse you guys, I thought it is the outlet. Uh, we have uh, V1 equal to amount, and V2 is is equal to zero. I'm so sorry about that. V2 to power two, V1 to power two. V2 here is zero, owing to the fact that we are considering the stagnation point. So it's a stagnation. I thought this is the stagnation point. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, V2 is going to be equal to zero. If we replace this in here, which is along the equation number one, I'm going to erase all and rewrite everything again. We're going to have everything as this. Let's hide it out. Yes. See? Uh, yeah. We, have, we had it as this. P2 over gamma air is equal to uh, P1 over gamma air plus gamma H2O over gamma air H1. We're going to have it as this, <clears throat> from the part one. P1 over gamma air plus V1 over two Gs. V1 to power two over two Gs is equal to replacing the whole P2 in here. P1 over gamma air plus gamma H2O over gamma air plus H1. Doing the whole calculation, we're going to have V1 as this. V1 is a square root of 2Gs multiplied by gamma H2O over gamma air totally multiplied by H1. Uh, H1 is equal to 0.1 meter. Gamma H2O is 9.8 multiplied by 10 to power 3 newtons per uh, square, per cubic meter. 
gamma r is equal to 12 newtons per cubic meter and g is equal to 9.81 meter per square second. We're going to have the v1 as 40 meters per second. As, we are, uh, as the flow is going across uh, a circular dimension from uh, the, the diameter of 0.2, we're going to have the Q as this, P over 4 multiplied by 0.2 multiplied by 40, which means we're going to have the flow rate as 1.26 cubic meter per second. So you just need to pay to this point, uh, pay attention to this point that the gamma uh, of water is really bigger than the gamma of the air. So you have to consider this point in these kind of questions if you want to have the, everything solved. So uh, this session, this tutorial session is also completed. I'm really happy that you have accompanied me till this moment of the video. Uh, I hope you have grasped the whole thing in a correct way and I uh, propose you to subscribe the channel in order to get the notification of upcoming tutorial sessions. I bid you all farewell, see you in the next sessions.